Oh, TSA officer. You want to know what that is? That's just my fire wand. I'm going to a fire festival where I'm going to tear up the fire circle. I'm going to burn all night long. Don't say that. <laughs> What up, Flo fam? Welcome back to my channel. The princess bed. Beautiful, beautiful princessy bed. I should, like, do a room tour or something. If you want that, leave it in the comments below. Do you want me to do a room tour? Take you around the sparkle room. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and the bell. We are talking about the one thing. The one thing that's posted and commented and get privately messaged about all the time. Can you take your lovey wands on a plane? And I am here to tell you, yes you can. Yes you can, you can take it on. But there's a few things that you need to follow in order to be able to do that. So you have two options. One is to check them. Two is to take them on as a carry-on. Anytime you're going to the airport, always make sure that you're going two hours early. Always, especially if you're bringing on props. If you're checking them, it's not, you know, so much of a worry, but if you're taking them on as a carry-on, go early, trust me. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is getting your wands in your check bag. You wanna make sure that they are protected. So there's a couple different ways that you can do that. So first, you can put them in a mailing tube. These are great, and just stick them. Oh, I love that sound. That is very enjoyable. Yeah. TSA likes to throw those bags around. We want to make sure that our wands are protected. So a mailing tube is really good for that. If your bag gets crushed, it's protected. You can get mailing tubes at the post office. FedEx has them. Um, usually what I do is I just save the tubes that my wands come in when I order a new wand. So I just save the tube. These things are amazing. The other trick that you can do is you can wrap your lovey wands in a yoga mat. So wrapping them up in a yoga mat will protect it, uh, not as well as the mailing tube, but it's still fairly protected. You can stick a few wands in here and they should be good to go. You can just stick your lovey wands into your check bag, but the likelihood of them coming out bent is pretty high. So if you don't want to check your lovey wands and you want to take them on as a carry-on, you can definitely do that. So the thing that you're going to want to keep in mind when you're bringing your lovey wands onto the plane is that TSA is looking for objects that can be used as weapons. And lovey wands, let's face it, it's a big stick. It could be used as a weapon, but are we going to use it as a weapon? No. TSA don't know that. So the thing that you really don't want to do is carry your lovey wand in its regular sleeve like this, because this is easy access to the wand. Like, oh, rip out the lovey wand, you know, gonna have to fight some people. This is too easy. They want the wands to be concealed more. So you have a couple different options. We can go back to the mailing tube and you can stick a few wands in here. If you don't have one of these and you wanna bring a lot of wands, there's another option. Get a bag. Uh, these can be bought at Modec. Um, there's a couple, I think a, a couple other companies that make them as well, but I use Modec. These things are amazing. Uh, this video is not sponsored. I just love them. <laughs> and you're able to put in your, your information here. I keep that. I always have one that covers it up, but another one behind it with my, uh, my information just in case they do make me check it. If they do make you check this, it is, uh, it is a soft case. So the likelihood of it being bent again goes higher. Pretty easy to carry around the airport. Usually just take it on as my personal item. They usually don't, you know, mess with me too much. The thing that happens almost every time when I'm going through TSA is if I have my LED lovey wands on me, they will almost always go through the bag. Whether it's in the mailing tube or in the Modec bag or whatever kind of case that I have it in, they're gonna see a stick of electronics going through the x-ray machine and they have no idea what it is. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna pull you aside and they're gonna go through your bag. A thing that I'll do if it's just my regular Flow Toys LED wand, I will take the ends out, take the, out the capsules and put those in my check bag. And then I'll just carry the empty tube with me. Usually do not bother me if, if the lights are out. But if you have a wand that is fully electronic and you can't throw it in your check bag, I mean, they're definitely gonna open up your bag. They're gonna open it up, they're gonna look at it, and they're gonna be very confused. So, when this happens, 
there's a few things that you should say and you should really not say. Don't say anything about fire. Don't say anything about going to a fire festival. Nothing about fire. There is no fire. When you're bringing your lovey wands in your personal bag, make sure that the wicks are covered. You can use uh, fuzzy wick covers or any sort of wick covers that are available out there, or you could just use a sock. Yeah, that's wicked ugly. But it works, it keeps it covered. You want to do this because you don't want them to see that something is a fire object. They're looking for anything combustible, they could be used as weapons. Don't say anything about fire. If they ask what these things are for, you tell them that they are dancing canes and that you work for the circus and you're on your way to a gig. Just leave it at that, super simple. Don't tell them anymore. I find that when a lot of people are asking about these props, your first instinct is to just go and grab them just to show them what it does. Don't grab them, don't touch them, don't anything. Like, soon as, as soon as TSA has your wands in their hands, let them do what they're gonna do. Best you can do is, you know, say yes, no. Tell them you're a juggler. Tell them that you're a circus performer. Never say anything about fire. I wouldn't even use the word baton because that can be used as a weapon. They are your dancing canes because canes, they're probably gonna let through. If you grab the wands, they can f you and they will try to f you. To go over what we've learned, if you're checking your wand, put it in a case. Don't say the word fire. Do not grab for the wand. Tell them you're a circus performer and make sure that they are in a case that is protected and that is not easy to get to. You're covering your wicks with either a wick cover or a sock. And if you wanna go a step further, wipe down your wands, make sure all the soot is off. Usually they don't really check too much for that. Now you know, the internet knows. If anybody ever asks if they can bring their levy wand onto the airplane, you show them this video. You tell them. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, ring the bell. Uh, so that way you're getting more stuff from moi. If you have any questions or any tips about, you know, taking your lovey wands onto the plane, leave it down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Can we take lovey wands on the plane? Yes, we can. Are we gonna get them confiscated? No, we're not. Kimmy, say hi to the internet. The internet. Oh, did you give me cut? You do not seem to be enjoying this very much.